Right now, in almost every public school in America, our students' teachers are being evaluated, judged, and labeled based on what many have coined junk science. Value-added models, or VAMs for short, are statistical models designed to measure the amount of growth that students make on large-scale standardized tests to estimate how much of that growth and achievement can be attributed back to their student's teacher. While this method sounds promising and has been sold as such, there are several flaws that make the issue more complicated than it might seem. For example, many of the theoretical and methodological problems are often downplayed or ignored by those promoting VAM use. In response, this video presents the counter-argument to the pro-VAM narrative by focusing on the major statistical concerns of VAMs and the real-life consequences that accompany their use, especially when high-stakes tests are attached to VAM estimates. First of all, like all measurement tools, VAM should be, but unfortunately are not always, reliable, valid, and free from bias. In fact, based on the most current research, a teacher classified as adding value has a 25 to 50 percent chance of being classified as subtracting value the following year, and vice versa. It would be just as reliable and a whole lot cheaper if administrators simply flipped a coin to determine whether a teacher was indeed effective in this regard. Related, VAMs should also be valid. Just as one would expect a scale to consistently measure weight, that is with reliability, one should also expect a VAM to measure what it's actually supposed to measure, teacher effectiveness. While there is limited evidence to suggest that VAMs are valid, there are reasons for this, for example, surrounding the known problems with the tests upon which VAMs rely. We know that such tests are poor measures of student achievement, and we know that such tests were never intended to measure teacher quality or growth in student achievement from one year to the next that could be attributed back to teacher quality, but they are being used this way regardless. We also know that VAM estimates did not correlate or relate well with many other measures of teacher effectiveness. In fact, other measures sometimes flat out contradict VAM estimates and vice versa. This should not happen, but it does, and it does so too often. This and about 25 other issues are still making validity nearly impossible to achieve. Further, research evidence has shown that some teachers' scores are indeed biased by the students they teach, especially when they teach classrooms with disproportionate populations of gifted and or high need students. These are the students typically on the tails of the normal bell curve. This happens in many ways because students are not randomly assigned to classrooms or teachers. Regardless of what VAM statisticians in this area might say, their statistical controls too often do not work effectively to counter or control for this very real issue. All of these problems matter, but what matters more is the way in which these problems affect people. Despite mounting cautionary research, VAMs are being used for consequential decision-making purposes in many straight states across America. Teachers have been demoted, demoralized, and dismissed because of these models that are, at best, correct, some of the time. To push human judgment out of these highly complex statistical equations, as others justify in their perpetual pursuit of objectivity, is scientifically wrong. If we are ever to truly find any value in value-add modeling, as still currently conceptualized and used, we still have a long long way to go. If you are interested in reading more about the intended and unintended consequences of value-added models, I encourage you to read my book, Rethinking Value-Added Models in Education, Critical Perspectives on Tests and Assessment-Based Accountability, available for purchase at rutledge.com and amazon.com. All of my personal proceeds are going to the Okoto Orphanage in Siem Reap, Cambodia. I have absolutely no interest in making any money off of the many, many of which are shameful, consequences coming about as a result of inappropriately attaching high-stakes consequences to and or making high-stakes decisions as based on VAMs, unlike others. Thank you.